Updated May 5, 2018 22 hours 38 minutes and 14 seconds Melbourne Victory have broken the hearts of the Jets and their legion of fans by claiming the A-League Championship with a 1-0 win in the grand final in Newcastle. A contentious ninth-minute goal to Costa Barbaras is the quickest in an A-League grand final, in front of a boisterous crowd of 29,410 was enough for the victory to deny the Jets following their fairy tale run to the season decider. Grand final triumph gave the victory their fourth championship, moving them in front of Sydney FC as the most successful club in A-League history. The Jets rode the wave of support from those crammed into their home ground in Newcastle, as they attempted to become the first Australian side in any sporting code to go from wooden spooners to champions in one season. In the end, it was Ernie Merrick's one-time protege turned combatant Kevin Muscat who got the last laugh in a contest that started breathlessly but was shut down by victory's experienced campaigners. The victory silenced the Newcastle faithful early in the first half when Barbaras is scored in controversial circumstances. Leroy George had sent in a free kick which was headed down by Jamie Donecci amid congestion at the far post into the direction of Barbaras's. Barbaras has made no mistake with his left foot strike, although the VAR will come under scrutiny once again as replays suggested Donecci and two of his teammates were offside in the lead-up to the goal. It was a letdown for the Jets but it did not show, as they were soon on attack down the opposite end of the field. Roy O'Donovan came close to an equaliser in the 16th minute but excellent goalkeeping from Lawrence Thomas, who deservedly claimed the Joe Marston medal as player of the match, kept the Jets at bay. It was not the only occasion Thomas was called into play, with the victory keeper showing cool nerves when he brilliantly saved a strike from Riley McGree before quickly getting back to his feet to fend away the follow-up effort from Jason Hoffman. Jets' chances on goal came as they enjoyed a man with 66% of possession in the first half, contrasting the victory who had made the most of their limited chances. George had proven to be a menace for the visitors down the left flank during the opening term, with the Dutchman drawing a superb save from the Jets' Glenn Moss when he threatened close to the penalty area. The second half saw the victory enjoy the better of the attacking opportunities, but neither side able to find the back of the net. The Jets faded after the break as their early momentum fell victim to a staunch victory defense run by Thomas Dang and James Donachi. The victory utilized their big stage experience to close down the match, as James Troisi and Terry Antonis began to properly assert themselves. The latter was momentarily felled during an aerial clash with ex-victory man Daniel Georgievsky. But it was O'Donovan who really came off worse for wear when he threw himself in the path of Bissart Parisha to stop the ball rolling over the goal line and copped a stray elbow the face. The match ended on a sour note when O'Donovan was handed a red card during the period of stoppage time. Dimitri Petratos had fired in a free kick when O'Donovan's right boot hit the advancing Thomas in the head studs up, with referee Jar Gillett showing no hesitation in sending the jet from the field. The Jets had been hoping to win their second A-League championship 10 years after their maiden title. ABC, AAAP Topics, A-League, Soccer, Sport, Newcastle 2300, Melbourne 3000 first posted May 5, 2018 18 hours 59 minutes and 49 seconds.